Hey guys, we're going to be talking about um, chain rule differentiation in this session. Let's get started. Now let's say we want to differentiate this function here, 2x plus 5 squared. Uh, from our previous knowledge, the first thing we would do is we would expand this out. So we'd expand this as 2x plus 5 times 2x plus 5. And we would get 4x squared plus 20x plus 25. And now we would differentiate this. So dy dx would equal 8x plus 20. But the problem is when you face it with a question like this. The problem is when we face a question like this. If we were to differentiate 2x plus 5 to the power of 6. Now obviously, trying to expand this is going to take a long time. Even writing it takes a long time. How many have I got? 4, 5, and 6. So you can only imagine how much time it's going to take to actually expand this. Like I was saying, expanding this would take a very long time. So, we use this thing called chain rule. How do we do with this? Okay, I'm going to have a look at this in the next slide, guys. So the best way to do this is to think of 2x plus 5 to the power of 6 as a composite function. Now, if you don't know what a composite function means, um, it just means a f it's a function within a function. Uh, well, let's, I'll just show you as an example. So let's say u is equal to 2x plus 5. Okay? Then we can say y is equal to u to the power of 6. Which means now we can differentiate y, but instead of doing dy dx, we're going to do dy du, which means this would become 6u to the power of 5. All right? And we also know u is equal to 2x plus 5, which means we can differentiate du with respect to dx, and we would get just 2. So, if y is equal to 2x plus 5 over 6, then this is what the chain rule is. The chain rule, we can say that dy dx is equal to dy du multiplied by du dx. Now, we've already worked out what dy du is and what du dx is, because dy du is 6u5, as you can see, multiplied by du dx, which is 2, which is from there. And this would equal 12u to the power of 5. But we are looking for dy dx, which means there should be no u's in your function. You should rather have x's in your function. But what we do know is u is 2x plus 5, which means we can replace u with 2x plus 5 And we're done. So if you differentiate y is 2x plus 5 to the power of 6, you would get 12 times 2x plus 5 to the power of 5. Is there a shorter way to do this? Yes, there is. And I'm going to show you that in the next slide. So the quicker way of doing this, of differentiating this, we would have dy dx is equal to, now this is similar to your normal differentiating rules. Uh, for example, the 6 here, it'll come in front. So we'll have 6 multiplied by 2x plus 5 to the power of 6, take away 1. Now, there's one extra step you've got to do with the chain rule, and that is you have to multiply by the differentiation of whatever's inside the bracket. So see how we have 2x plus 5 here? If you differentiate 2x plus 5, you would get 2, and that's what it is. And simplifying this, you would get 12, 6 times 2 is 12, and you have 2x plus 5 to the power of 5. This is the faster way of doing this. Obviously, this is the slower way, and this is the faster way. Okay, I want to have a look at one quick example, and then we're done with this. So the example that I'm looking at is, 
differentiate x cubed minus 4x squared plus 6 to the power of 4. So I have y is equal to x cubed minus 4x squared plus 6 to the power of 4. Now, what do I do here? Bring the power down. So dy dx would equal, well, there's my 4. It's going to come right in front. 4 multiplied by whatever's inside the bracket, which is x cubed minus 4x squared plus 6. I got to take 1 away from the power, so it'll become 4 minus 1. And now I've got to multiply by whatever's inside this bracket here, whatever the, the red line is, I've got to differentiate it. So x cubed will differentiate to 3x squared. Minus 4x squared will differentiate to minus 8x. And 6, of course, will differentiate to 0. So I'm done. So the final answer would simply be 4x cubed minus 4x squared plus 6 to the power of 3 multiplied by 3x squared minus 8x. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you differentiate using the chain rule. So thank you for watching.